Hi. Now in this question, what we're given is this cylinder here, solid cylinder, which represents a pain relieving tablet. And we're told that it's got a radius of X millimeters and a height of H millimeters. And the volume of each tablet is 60 millimeter cubes. In the first part, we've got to express H in terms of X. And then we've got to show that the surface area A millimeter squares of a tablet is given by this formula here. A equals 2 pi x squared plus 120 over x. So if you want to give this a go, just pause the video, come back when ready, and I'll go through the work solution with you. Okay, welcome back if you had a go. So for the first part, express H in terms of x when we know that the volume is 60 millimeter cubes. Well, this just works off the concepts you should know the formula for the volume of a cylinder. The volume of a cylinder, remember, V is equal to the area of the base, which would be pi r squared, generally, where r is the radius of the base, times the height h. So that means for us, we've got the volume is 60 equals pi times the radius, which is x, square that, and multiply it by the height h. So all we've got to do now is just rearrange this to make h the subject. So you just divide both sides by pi x squared. So you end up with h equals 60 then over pi x squared. Okay, so that's h in terms of x. Now in part b we've got to show that the surface area a square millimeters of the tablet is given by this formula here. So you can see that this formula hasn't got h in at all, so at some point we're going to have to make a substitution for h as 60 over pi x squared. Now it's the total surface area, and the total surface area is going to be given by the area of the base, that's one circle, pi x squared, okay, plus the area of the top. Now I know that's going to give us two of these, but I'm going to slow the pace down just so that I hope the examiners don't think that I've just copied this term down here. We can catch that up, uh, catch up with that in a moment, okay? So we've got the area of the bottom plus the area of the top, and now we've got the area of the curved surface. And this would unfold to be a rectangle, and the area of the rectangle will be the length times the width. The length will be the circumference, okay, which would be 2 pi r normally, so that would be 2 pi x for us. And then the height of that rectangle would be h. Okay, so what we've got here then is our 2 pi x squared, and then plus 2 pi x, and now we can substitute for the h. h then is 60 over pi x squared. And now we can simplify this term because in this term, that pi cancels with that pi, and this x here cancels with one of the x's in the x squared. So therefore, we end up with this equaling 2 pi x squared plus 2 times 60, which is 120, and that's all divided by this remaining x here. Okay, so hope you're able to follow that if that caused any problems.